back to my channel and for today's video I will going to ask some of the singer from Toledo City I will gonna ask her name first uh, what is your name my name is Leia Libreya Leia Libreya so um, you live here in um, in Toledo right yes uh, located at Carmen Toledo City Carmen Toledo City so um, how, uh, how old are you right now I'm 19 years old. 19 years old. So, um, do you still have a family or complete parents? Yes, I do have. Uh, but, like, unfortunately, yes, we have right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, before, we had my parents separated for almost you know, one to two months. Mm -hmm. But they get together again. So, we're. I have a oh, complete family. family right now. So how many siblings do you have? Four siblings. I have four sisters. So how is the relationship between you and your family right now? Uh, so far, we're good. Uh, no, I don't have any problem anymore. <laughs> I am so happy to hear that because uh, me, I am, uh, I don't have complete parents. Yeah, because because I already shared this uh, to you during senior uh, senior high school, right? That I don't have parents, uh, complete parents, but I, I do have step stepfather. But we live happy now. So, um, like, what do you, uh, what did you do for a living? Or are you still a student? I'm currently studying right now, but because I just last year. Ah, you just stopped last year, yes. so you're still a first year right now. Yes. Ah, uh, supposedly I, I am second year high ice college. Yeah. Then I stopped. Uh, last year, so and I returned right now, right here. Yes, so guys, because we are classmates, everyone, way back um, senior high school. Yes, um, like, what did you do for a living? Um, actually, I really heard um, that you are you're performing a lot of uh, gigs. Uh, yes, gigs, uh, events. Events, and then have you been there also in Tawag ng Tanghalan, right? In yes, Manila? I have been there last May 29. I'm not mistaken. Uh -oh. <laughs> so how is experience as a singer? Uh, at first, I um, it's not really. If you have the talent, well, you're gonna be overwhelmed. Sa mga compliments sa people, but it's really not easy to achieve your dreams. Kaya mm -hmm. ng as what they've said, you cannot get what you want in just a snap. Yeah. So you need to take it by step by yes. step because you cannot uh, you cannot rush into your dreams. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of experiences. experiences because without experiences, and then you already tap on the on on the top already. That without having uh, like a direct path, mm -hmm. when you take a direct path, you will uh, you will gonna fail fail right. So there's have a failures on that so like taking step by step you, know, you will gonna learn until you have the courage to uh, already confident. Uh, confident to get that uh, dreams and so like um, what do you want in five years from now I think I see myself as teaching teaching students mm -hmm. because I am currently uh, taking up education education yes I'm sorry. So education. So what made you decide to uh, get that course? That is my heart's one. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't really specifically choose that one mm -hmm. because my first choice is make to become a nurse. Nurse. But unfortunately, I cannot. I mean, my family or my parents cannot afford to to. To, to pay the patient, so I'll go with the next option, which is teaching. Teaching. So because because guys, uh, when you're going to take a a nursing a nursing guys, you need to have a lot of money because the patient fee will uh, will be higher than a uh, teacher, right? So uh, the average teacher uh, uh, teacher's tuition fee here is around 16,000, right? 16,000 per semester. Now, okay. First semester, 
is around 19k. 19,000? Yeah. Higher, yeah. Oh. Yeah, because um, me, I am um, just um, my vision for first for first semester is just like sixteen thousand, sixteen sixteen thousand. So the business administration have the lower average vision rather than that. Okay, so um like um have you been experiencing a ex um having a boyfriend or um like a partner boyfriend before? Yes, I do have. Uh oh. But currently, I don't. Mm, I um, have. What happened to your? What happened to your um ex boyfriend um partner? Yeah. Uh, it's what a the ghost. Ghost. Yeah. Oh, you ghost. Will stay. Uh -oh. I I don't. I I did not do that. Uh oh. The, the person, I mean, the, my ex do that. My ex do that to you. So, how long you been together? We started since when I was grade 7 until grade 10. So, it's almost 4 years. I think 4 years. And then it helps because he did, does it, I didn't yes. um, put that with the I have. I have. I know why he do that. He did that. Maybe because of what I did. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of personal, so I'm not gonna share it. Enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, um, like, how's the experience having a partner boyfriend? Well, I mean, I'm not expecting so much from them. Mm -hmm. We're not. I mean, we're not the same. We don't have the same culture or something like. We don't have the same kind of impact or way of showing love. Showing love. I thought of him first, like uh, he's not that really showy, mm -hmm. but unfortunately the relationship goes well until I. I I realized that they are more than uh, relationship for the person or girl even though they not show it in another uh, orada. So um <laughs> So what can you say about a partner wanted to visit here in Philippines? Well, the, definitely it's a good choice because uh, not only because of the places but also the person or people here in the Philippines are very uh, accommodating and very hospitable so that you, you guys are welcome to come here. Yes, very welcome to come here because we are we Filipinos love to get to know to some of the um, uh, some of the foreigners just like that, <laughs> and then we are so we are kind of curious about them. Oh yeah, curious. Especially we live here in the province. It's, it's very rare to have a foreigner here, right? Okay, so yes, guys. So if you want to visit here in province, province guys, um, you you will gonna be the one who gonna roam around because yes. there is no a lot of partners here. Um, yeah, but it, this place is very accessible to um, Negros, right? Yes. Yeah. It is. Because there is a port here, guys, from um, to, uh, Toledo port to uh, Negros. And so, what can you say about um, to those people who dream to become a singer? Well, first is do what your mom, I want your heart want because it is the um, number one rule in achieving your dreams. Next, uh, always, uh, always think positive even though you fail always think that as only first trial because as i have said earlier uh, you must trust uh, the prospects because it's not really uh you cannot get your dream in just as one one snap you will take a lot of uh, experiences failures mm -hmm. To make your yourself like said like parang confident, you know, and always, always put God 
as the center of everything, right? So, um, guys, I am very thankful to uh, Leah that being part of my um, my guest. And what can you say about my viewers? Well. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you say whatever you want. <laughs> I'll keep supporting Mary Ann. Mary Ann. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll keep supporting Mary Ann and do subscribe to her channel for more videos. And I hope now she gives happiness to your hearts when you you watch you uh, watch yeah. the video. So do you have any social medias or? Or they have a page? Yes, I have a page. So, it's named Bulok the Bow. <laughs> so yeah, I will gonna paste your link in there yes. in this description okay. because um mostly of my um, subscriber here wanted to support just like that, especially when you are um still studying, you wanted to um want, wanted to reach your dreams as to become a singer, and then of course you need always to have a support, and you did really deserve it because you're really a good singer, and guys. So we're gonna put the page of um, link to my description so that you will gonna see how um, how good she is in singing. So thank you so much everyone.